Twenty years after they disappeared, Cambridge University Library now says that two of Charles Darwin's notebooks have probably been stolen. For years, they'd worked on the theory that the small books, worth millions, had simply been put back in the wrong place. But they still can't find them, and now they've reported it to police. Our arts correspondent Rebecca Jones reports. Imagine losing something in here. Cambridge University Library is vast. 200 kilometres of shelving, 10 million books, maps and manuscripts, and amidst it all, two missing notepads by Charles Darwin. Each of these notebooks, which are the same as the ones we're looking for, are about the size of a postcard. They are written in landscapes, so across the page, and they have, of course, Darwin's writing. The notebooks have been digitised, but the originals haven't been seen since November 2000, when they were taken to be photographed in a temporary studio in the university's grounds. It wasn't until two months later that librarians realised they were missing. They assumed they'd been put back on a different shelf and there were a number of extensive searches. Now a new team thinks they got it wrong. I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that these notebooks have probably been stolen. It's just heartbreaking for me, it's just heartbreaking that this has happened. I've spent my whole career devoted to the preservation of cultural heritage um, and I will spend all my time here trying to determine the possibility of recovery of these items. In 1837, a young Charles Darwin had recently returned from the Galapagos Islands aboard HMS Beagle. In his notebooks, he's working through scientific ideas inspired by his trip and in one of them, he sketches the Tree of Life. Your help could be critical in seeing the notebook safely returned. The library has now launched an appeal calling for help from the public, former staff and researchers in locating the notebooks by one of the best known scientists of all time. It'll take another five years to complete a full search of the building here, so it is still possible the notebooks could turn up. In the meantime, their disappearance has been reported to Cambridgeshire Police. And if you have any information about where they might be, the library would love to hear from you. Rebecca Jones, BBC News, Cambridge.